in the second part about k-means, uh, where we left off was we had, no, let me get, just get the full screen mode, we had a, a matrix of all of the values for every regressor for every voxel that we're interested in. In my case, I'm dealing with a whole brain analysis, and I'm going to be looking at three distinct clusters. Now, so we have this fact, we have this matrix called Y, okay, so these are all the values for every regressor, for every voxel, and the k-means command is very easy, and I'm going to put the output into this thing called ID axis, K means, and then this matrix, and the number of clusters I want to use. This can be any number of clusters you want, but in my case, I'm only interested in three. Okay, so one for one group of the regressors, see where those load, another for uh, another group of the regressors, and one more cluster to basically soak up everything else. So when I do this, this gives me one value for each row, basically assigning each voxel to a particular cluster. So cluster one, two, or three, what is it? And then the interpretation of that is really up to you, which may be a mistake, but that's <laughs> that's how they did it. Okay, so we have those values from k-means. It's basically done automatically. That step isn't too difficult. Now, what I'm gonna be doing next is I'm gonna be saving this into, oh, uh, first I'll concatenate these guys into something called temp. Okay, so IDX is gonna go first, and then XYZ. So what this is gonna do is it's gonna give the cluster number and then the XYZ coordinates. And I'm gonna save this into a single text file. Okay, so I have, let's see here. I'm gonna just call this guy, let's say k means XYZ.txt. And I'm gonna be saving into that, that temp variable, which I just created right here. And it's gonna be an ASCII format. Okay, so it's going to be an uh, exponential, or sorry, it's going to be in scientific notation, but really that doesn't matter. It's not going to mess you up too much. And just to look at it really quickly to make sure everything is fine. Okay, this is what it looks like. Again, scientific notation because the save command is a little weird, but trust me, it will work. Don't, don't worry too much about it. All right, so I'm going to copy this guy into another directory where I have some other stuff located. Okay, means X, Y, Z. Um, let's see. Clusters like GSR. That sounds good. Sounds good to me. Nothing could go wrong there. Maybe. Okay. And I have a couple of other commands just to write out this entire k means clustering uh, result into a single image. Okay. So I've taken, I get this thing called temp.nii. I'm a huge fan of <laughs> not very descriptive labels, but what this thing is, is it's simply, I just copied over, say, a second level contrast image which has, it's basically like a gigantic Rubik's Cube, right? It has a bunch of voxels all stacked together and it's been warped to a standardized space. I'm gonna use that, I'm gonna use this command called create blank nifty to zero out everything. So make the value of everything zero, make it just like a blank image. And then I can overwrite it using create nifty dot uh, M, okay? And I'll have this these uh, scripts up on my website. And I'm gonna be just using this uh, K means X, Y, Z to overwrite that. Okay, so first thing is going to be create blank nifty. .nii. So if you just want to take a look at it, okay, it's it's totally blank, but it has the same dimensions and everything that we need, uh, basically to be in a standardized space. The next thing is create nifty, and it's going to be temp.nii, and it's going to be using this. Uh, let's see, what do I have here? K means xyz.txt, is that the right, yeah, that's the right thing. So once I type in this command, it's going to be giving a single cluster value to every voxel in the brain. Now what this looks like, again, I'm gonna boot up Avni because I like that visualization a little bit better, is I might just have an underlay as you know, some template brain, and then the finished product should be this thing right here, okay? So basically every color corresponds to a different cluster. You can see that, click them around, look at overlay. Is it one, is it two, or is it three? What I see here is that, yeah, there seem to be distant clusters for the regressors that I saw just from the, the univariate analyses. But it kind of makes it more compact and a little bit more uh, easy to interpret. So that's k clustering, at least the way I'm doing it right now, just testing it out, seeing whether it uh, you know, makes sense or not. And I hope this gives you guys some good ideas about how to do it. I haven't seen any toolboxes for k-means, at least for SPM, uh, that have looked, you know, approachable. Not that this is, you know, the easiest thing either, but it's, it's, a, it's a good start. I'll, you know, look some more whether people have some uh, ideas on the SPM listserv about how to do that, but 
this is what I have so far. Okay, so I hope that helps uh, mess around with it. Read the supplementary material in the blog post to help you out. And I'll see you guys next time.